case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. The Supreme Court decisively held that the National Labor Relations Act permits the board to intervene in jurisdictional disputes and settle which group of employees has the rightful claim to perform a certain work, including preventing work stoppages. This ruling strayed from the board's earlier interpretation that it lacked the necessary guidelines to make such a determination. Addressing the board's argument that its long-standing interpretation of its duty under the act had become part of the statute as a result of congressional acceptance, the court disagreed. It highlighted that an administrative authority's conclusion that has been persistently overruled by appellate courts is not typically recognized. The Supreme Court's decision reflects a subtle balance between public policy, rights of unions, and the private settlement of jurisdictional disputes. Congress implicitly decided in favor of encouraging private resolution of these disputes when they formulated the act. However, the court acknowledged the possibility of litigating damages due to jurisdictional strikes under Section 303, a. 4 of the Act, noting that it does not require full compatibility with the dispute resolution under Section 10. K. In summary, the Supreme Court's ruling underscored that the National Labor Relations Board cannot disregard its responsibility to resolve conflicts between employee groups over who is rightfully entitled to particular work assignments, a significant addition to labor relations law. Case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. Visit lsd.law. Elevate your mind. Leave the stress of class.